The lucky 13, that's the number of local high school football teams that will gear up tomorrow in round two of the state playoffs. Getting past the first round is no easy task because in the playoffs, everyone is good. But where the battle lies for nearly half these teams is getting a win tomorrow night. Check it out. Of the 12 in action tomorrow, six of them couldn't get past round two a year ago. And more than half of those losses came by just a few points. McGill fell to Auburn in round one by two. Fairhope was knocked out by Carver 20 to 16. Bayside lost by a few by one point to Leeds. And a year ago, T.R. Miller was sent packing with a two-point loss to midfield. Now, of all those teams, one seems to really have the pressure to perform every year. That's McGill Tulin. It seems as though the Yellow Jackets have been flying around a state title, but can't quite sting. In his first year as head coach, McGill, McGill's head coach Bart Sessions took the Jackets to round three. That was 20. 2011, and he's looking to do it again now. But it'll be no easy task. The Jackets travel to Wetumpka tomorrow, the team that upset Daphne a week ago. Now, in the regular season, the McGill Daphne matchup went down to the wire in a game that the Jackets should have lost. One can't help but think tomorrow's matchup will be a close one. Coach Sessions knows Wetumpka's win last week proves this team is playing well. However they got here, they're playing good football to get here. Um, you have to, to kind of really just look at what they did last week. We know what type of program Daphne is. You don't go into Daphne and beat Daphne unless you're a very solid football team. So, you know, that's kind of been an easy sales job for our kids because we have such a great respect for Daphne and anyone that can, can go into Daphne and win, then we know they're a very good team. All right, now after just one loss in the regular season, the Saraland Spartans will play in the second round of the state playoffs tomorrow for the first time in school history. Saraland defeated Gulf Shores in round one and will travel a 245 mile trip to play Homewood. That matchup won't be a gimme for the seventh ranked Spartans. Homewood won the 5A region four crown this season, undefeated in region play with just two losses on the year. Head coach Jeff Kelly knows it's playoff time and it's do or die. Absolutely, there's a sense of urgency with every uh, every week. We uh, we talk to our kids, you know, every week about you know being a one game season, and that's what it is. That's what it is with playoff football. You got to go out there and and uh, lay it out on the line. You got to play 48 minutes, and and that's your season. And uh, you know, if you do things right and you're successful, you live to play the next week. And uh, that's what uh, it's all about. Survival. It's all about finding a way to to get that W, and uh, and that's going to be our focus on Friday night. Survive and advance. Sarah Land and McGill are two of the nine local teams taking road trips tomorrow. Those footballs represent all the locations. Sarah Land has the longest haul with almost a 500 mile trip to Homewood round trip. Like I mentioned, St. Luke's has the shortest round trip, about 300 miles to Brantley. Now, check this out when you add it all up. We're talking more than 3,400 miles traveled for all nine teams. Hope they all come back with a win. Of course, we'll have highlights from those games and many more on First in 10. The best high school football show in the state, Yes, I'm Biased, begins at 9.30.